Hello Internet, I'm William Haynes and I have some news that's gonna knock your cheeks off. In less than a month, I'll be strapping on my boxing gloves and entering the ring at Creator Clash 2 in sunny Florida. Did you see the latest YouTube boxing event? The Creator Clash. Creator Clash! I was hooked to my screen the entire time that it was on. I honestly just had such a good time. Yes, you heard it here first folks. The lanky, noodle armed, nothing matters. Give peace a chance and knuckle touch William, who hover handed Meg Turney and kinda started working out seriously in 2020, is now fighting in the internet world tournament. I've always viewed myself as an anime protagonist, but this is taking it to another level. On top of that, the guy I'm fighting has been preparing for nine months to a year and I have less than three weeks. Chris Raygun versus Froggy Fresh. It's Friday, my time has come. I always knew that iDubbbz and Anissa were trying to set me up, but I had no idea that they're this clever. You may recall over a year ago, I noticed that iDubbbz, who organizes the events with his wife, fiance, person, Anissa, they both followed me. And she commented asking if I want to fight mythical chef Josh. Remember when I tried a beer for the first time on Good Mythical Morning? Josh was there for that. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, we found out that Josh is about four inches and 85 pounds heavier than me, so I guess that's not a fair fight. Remember how I used to be beefing with Keemstar? And Mr. William Hayes decided to pipe up. And by the way, if you don't know this guy, it's fine. Nobody knows him. He Get me Keemstar. I said yes, even though it didn't seem like a good matchup at all. Most of my close friends were saying I was going to get beat. Raina herself said it was over for me. I'm taller, I'm way heavier. I knew about this event far before he did. But I said yes anyway. I honestly thought I would be a part of it, but when they announced who was fighting and I wasn't on there, I was surprised and relieved. Thank Gandhi and Starfleet captains in heaven because I like working out and building muscle. Bodybuilding training is a lot different than being a good fighter. This ain't Creed. In real life, having big muscles does not determine the outcome of a fight. So I went on with my life. Now, some of you might be thinking, William, are you crazy? You don't have any boxing experience. And to say that, I say you're absolutely correct. So within a few hours of accepting the invite, I was on the phone with a guy called Quick who was assigned to be my new trainer. So I met with Quick and let me tell you, he's incredible. I know I'm in good hands. Not only is he a three times Golden Glove champ, he's also Filipino. So we only have three weeks. I'm training him from scratch. He has no background in fighting. He told me he never got hit before in his adult life, so. He insists that he's not my father even though he also suggests I'm a part of the pack now and we're gonna be going to war like wolves. The real issue is that he lightly insisted to me to clean up my act. Apparently smoking four joints a day and downing an entire bottle of Chardonnay to myself seven days a week isn't exactly conducive to being in top boxing shape. I know he's a stoner, I know he likes to smoke and shit, so we stay in off that and he's gonna be happy he did because it's gonna help out with our lungs and shit like that. Who knew? I know it's shocking to our parasocial relationship because you remember when I never had a joint glass of wine or use curse words, but that was nine years ago. I hate to admit this, but I've been high since April 2015. This entire time. I find it funny that Joel, who used to be an executive at SourceFed, posted this amazing tweet remembering SourceFed even though someone snitched to him. I was doing weed in the parking lot every day and he told me to stop, but I never did. Okay, for like one day, and then I was like, if I gotta quit, whatever Whitney and Steve are on, they gotta stop doing that too. <laughs> Whitney. <laughs> Whitney. I found my sword. Steve! Steve! So yeah, that's really the hard part for me. Quick, if, if anything, he's incredibly determined, and I was incredibly nervous until I talked to him, and I knew that he was gonna provide the type of energy I need to actually be a fighter. He's got me on a strict diet and exercise regimen, and let me tell you, it's no picnic. Uh, I have him staying away from pussy, no jacking off, no nutting, no nut that we got that testosterone fucking going strong. I'm sweating like a sinner in church, folk. <laughs> sweating like a pastor who was at the club until 2 last night and is up at 8 a.m. doing the, the morning service. So folks, all I can say is I'm super excited to be a part of Creator Clash 2. I mean, sure, it's on super short notice and I might die of exhaustion before the fight even starts. Will, come on, you got like 10 seconds. Time. Time. But that's part of the fun, right? 
And here's another thing to get excited about. Exclusive William Haynes merch. That's right. You can head on over to Centauri Streetwear and get your hands on some seriously stylish gear. We're talking vintage rap tees, you write hats, and all sorts of other swag that'll make you the envy of all your friends. And what's a better conversation starter than my face on your shirt? So head on over to Centauri Streetwear and treat yourself. Life is beautiful, ain't it? Amen. But I can drink some tonight. I mean, the fight's not for like two weeks, one day. I can have a little Chardonnay, right? No. Hell no. Nah.